Hi, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Lara Wasson, you're watching Closetista. We're here with the team of Hair and Heart, Jenny Engelhart and Emily Harrison. We're so excited to have them with us today. And remember, if you have a question for them, of course, tweet us at Closetista TV. We'll be checking throughout the broadcast. And yeah, we're very excited to have you. Very and excited to be here. The first piece I want to talk about is beautiful jacket that Jenny oh, is wow. wearing. <laughs> the Schiller jacket. It's 625. It's mm. Napa leather. It's so beautiful. I don't know what to do. No, it's, it's gorgeous. You, just, oh, you look lovely. Look <laughs> Tell us about this, because I know this was one of your first pieces, right? This was, it was. Yeah. That's amazing. This is maybe our original jacket. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. And where did the idea come from? Or, I don't even know. I was visiting Emily in Argentina mm -hmm. and was looking for a custom leather jacket to be made. Oh, and cool. I had one done and it was just kind of not exactly not right. right. And so we were sort of brainstorming, well, could we fix it? What would we do if we could do it? Mm -hmm. And so that's sort of how this leather jacket was born. It's yeah. so cool. And the design, I think, is really nice Thank because you. it drapes, really, as you can see, it drapes really nicely when it's... Yeah. Unzip, but you yeah. zip it up, and it yeah, fits it the body too. really pretty. Yeah. It's close and fitted. Yeah, so we started with this one, right. and we were like, oh. well, well, you should actually yeah. do other ones. Right. And um, so it sort of kind of snowballed from there. That's going so great. With this one as our original piece. Right, and who doesn't yeah. love a classic black leather jacket? It's we so do. Just, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. It's just something that you have to have in your uh -huh. wardrobe. and. There are so many that are kind of run in the mill, boring, and this is really beautiful, very high end, feels very oh, luxurious, which is really nice. And yeah, I we think pay attention to like what kind of leathers we use a lot. Right. So that way we like the feel of it, it feels soft. And Tell us about the Napa leather. Yeah. What exactly is Napa leather? So Napa leather is the highest end, so when it's processed, you have Napa leather and that's the most refined in okay. terms of tactile, like how it feels. Mm -hmm. So it's the um, it's ground down so that it's the, the thinnest possible used ah, for clothing. Okay. So when it's Napa, it's usually always related to clothing. I see. And in this case, we had leathers developed. We've been searching for the perfect leather forever, and we this is actually washed. Ah, so what it okay. is is it's not yeah, fully you can done. Feel if you want. It's feel oh, my yeah. jacket. I oh. felt it before, but it's just. <laughs> Oh, yeah, lovely. it's really buttery, it's yeah. really soft, and we made sure that actually, um, you know, the dyeing of leather is so, there's so many different varieties, and what right. we have is to make sure that it's partially dyed so that it's not paint it's not painted, it's right. really matte looking. Right. Which so that, nice. you know, there's no sheen, you can really get the sense of, well, the quality. This is leather, yeah. it's not like, oh, so leather. Like underneath there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can really mm -hmm. feel it, and it just it has like a sense of luxury right. about it. No, absolutely, and I think... And the attention to detail is so great. The beautiful antiqued zippers, mm -hmm. so pretty and kind of and nice because it's kind of a bit big for a zipper. It's got yeah. a lot of heft. It's yeah. not just a polite little zipper mm -hmm. or anything like that. It's yeah. very fashion forward. We don't like really polite great. zippers. No, <laughs> polite zippers. God forbid I mean, the polite zippers. Maybe polite buttons, but zippers, no. <laughs> the next piece I want to talk about of course these gorgeous zero waist bangles which are really fantastic they're 35 they're used they're made of remnant leather correct mm -hmm. which is so so great because i know obviously not every piece of leather can be used you're right. going to have scraps when you have a jacket or a bag and so it's great to be able to do something with those scraps instead of just tossing them in the garbage which is Absolutely. probably where they would end up otherwise tell us how this idea came about and about the colors and it was bit. sort of more of like a spring cleaning process. I really? Mean, yeah. Yeah. We only have so much space, and then so <laughs> we store. I because I can't throw away anything. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. Right. I am a hoarder. <laughs> On I'm <laughs> They're gonna come visit you now that you said that. <laughs> I am. So I've been saving this scrap of leather because I can't throw it away. Because it seems like we should be able to use it right. for something. And even samples, we start. Sometimes we'll do it out of just like a random leather that we would never actually make a jacket out of, like really right. thick orange right. suede. And yeah, totally. yeah, I think we have yeah, some so of that. we have a partial thick orange yes, suede. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is really cool in a bracelet, but it maybe is. kind of Not a lot so for a jacket. Much. Yes, it's yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, you hand paint all the little bands on here yeah. as well, which right, is yeah. really nice. So I wanted to give it, yeah, make it a little more fun. So we painted them and then put them on these bronze bangles. Yeah, so, so cute. You actually are wearing a couple right I'm now. 
Okay, a couple. Just, mm -hmm. I have this nice little tribal yeah. sensibility, which is so in vogue right now. Yeah, really, really, yeah they're really fun. They're really fun yeah. and super nice. It's a nice way to add leather to any outfit if maybe it's too hot like it is today for a leather jacket or... Hence the fan. Yeah, yeah. the fan. <laughs> nice fan or so. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, yeah, I think, and it's a great little pop of color too. This is our exclusive color, which I love. It's the turquoise and the black. It's so pretty. Tur who doesn't love turquoise? It's such a pretty color. It looks good on every skin tone and super easy to wear, which is wonderful. Yeah. This beautiful bag, which Ooh. I just love, is the Crawford Brief Clutch. And Jenny actually showed up to our taping today with her very yes, own. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. It looks even better when it's filled with all of your different personal belongings. It's five seventy five and it has this great not only do we have the leather details but the hair calf as well, which is just so, so nice. Aww. Tell us about this piece and kind of how you made it and how it's constructed. Okay, so this is well, the originally, I'm not even sure how we initially came up with the idea. We know we really liked hair calf and thought mm -hmm. it added like a beautiful kind of um, element in terms of dimension. Right. Also, what's an interesting to note about hair calf is that it's the most natural of leather dyes. Oh. So, in terms of us trying to be, you know, conscientious as far as we can be, yeah. this is has no dye. It's just the hair. It's just been treated. Mm -hmm. So there's no heavy metals used. It's That's just been. The, it's just been. And cured. so mm -hmm. yeah. And so each piece is actually different. Yeah. All of them are unique because mm -hmm. it's a natural hide. It comes from different parts. So like this has this little Ooh, area splotches. here. Yeah. And this little dark darker areas, which yeah. we actually love. The yeah, it's yeah. really nice. Mm -hmm. It gives it a lot of personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I know this is clearly a giant clutch, is. which is great. <laughs> Thank you. And you, you can fit a computer in it. Yeah, I carry my laptop around but, in here. I mean, there are so mm -hmm. many boring laptop cases you can get at Best Buy and just kind of cheap and terrible, but this is just so sumptuous. And of course, you don't have to carry a laptop in here, but it can fit. Fit all your files and like tote it around town, very spy chic, yes. which I love. I actually always bring an extra pair of flip flops in there when I go out. Really? That's yeah, a so great when my idea. heels, yeah, when I'm like, oh, cannot wear heels anymore. <laughs> like, well, got a change. Bag. Yeah. <laughs> which fits everything. Uh -huh. No, I think that's uh -huh. great because, you know, clutches, I think, sometimes are so small and so limiting. But you right. like the idea of having a clutch and carrying mm -hmm. something as chic as a clutch. And it's just such a good size because you don't have to decide, well, is this more important? Is this more important? You can bring right. everything, right. whether it's important mm -hmm. or not, which is yeah. really great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do want to talk a little about how you started the line and the name and all of that good stuff. Tell us, mm -hmm. how did this get started? Um, well, we met in college. <laughs> Do you know. want to go? Do you want to go? Well, <laughs> you go. Okay, I'll start. We met in college. Mm -hmm. We went to school in the beautiful mm -hmm. state of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And um, she's from Minnesota. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to know. <laughs> and we went to Carleton College. We became really good friends yeah. there. And then I, after college, she did a semester abroad in Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. And then after college, you moved here yeah. to New York. To New York. Worked mm -hmm. in fashion mm -hmm. at Stuart Weitzman, and then I worked in the wine industry oh, in Argentina. Nice. Yeah. And we'd always been planning on doing this. And then, as Jenny said, she came to visit me and wanted a jacket made. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and Argentina is known for its leather industry. Right. So we really wanted to take advantage of using that traditional artisanal art. How do you say this? Yeah, artisanal. <laughs> artisanal feel of getting a handcrafted Argentine product right. with sort of contemporary fashion. Right. Yeah, and so there's these, I mean, for us it's important to know like the transparency a little bit mm -hmm. about how, thing, how things are made and how, where it comes from. So all of the leather is sourced from free roaming cows and, mm -hmm. and what have you that are grass fed. Yeah. And it's, it's also, yeah. And it's 90% of the whole leather industry in Argentina, beef and leather wow. comes from grass fed free roaming cows. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That and it's all, all leather in Argentina is a byproduct of the beef industry. So oh, that's great. Yeah. So there's no waste. No, exactly. So mm -hmm. anything, and believe me, Argentines are not going to stop eating beef anytime soon. No. <laughs> no. Sure, that's that's like And then they eat all parts of the cow yeah. too. Yeah. They sit yeah. you down at a meal and are like, here, here's the intestines. And you're like, wait. You think, oh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. And yeah, I know yeah. you work with Argentine um, manufacturers right. for making your pieces. 
have you found that to be challenging or rewarding? Yes, both. both. <laughs> okay, yeah. why is that? Um, okay, so there's very there's cultural differences. I'm sure. Yeah. So there's not a you know sometimes there's we have a sense of urgency about something and that mm. doesn't always translate. But at the same time, like the detail to craftsmanship and the quality of the finished product, we found people that create really well done high end products, bags, jackets, and you can really sense like the quality and the time that's been put into right. making them. So, and we've you know been able to have a great relationship working with them, going over every detail. It feels like a collaboration that's that wonderful. we've been working on for years. So it yeah. has feels like everybody is invested, you know, the way that we are. That's so great. Yeah. That's great. And do you see the company growing with them or yeah. adding more people? I guess as the company grows, we probably have to. Yeah. But that's wonderful. Yeah. Any ideas for spring? Ooh, yeah. Or things um, coming up? Yeah, we're, we're exploring more color for spring. Hello. So, like mm -hmm. the orange way. <laughs> Maybe not orange uh, sway. Uh, but then, yeah, yeah color is Cool. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. Well, the last piece I want to talk about is the beautiful Selby hand clutch. It's 375 and it's this is such a great size little clutch because I mean it opens, it has gussets on the side, it's kind of huge. Yeah. Which is Still fantastic. enough space for flip flops. Just really? Yeah. So you know. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so tell us about this piece. It's got this it's Napa leather, but it has this wonderful croc embossed detail, which is just so pretty. Yeah. How do you do the embossment? There's it um, actually they're so stamped, I guess. Yeah, okay. it's what it is are these big metal plaques. So huge. They take up if you can imagine the size of a of a hide is like, you know, rather wow. well. Yeah, yeah huge. really big. So they create these giant plaques that are like I don't know, the size of a table. Mm -hmm. And then they insert the hide in, get the plaque really hot, stretch out the hide, and then press it down with the stamp. Oh, how cool. So you can do anything. You and know? it really, it looks like crocodile. Yeah. And it's so much less expensive. I know that's sure. like crazy expensive. <laughs> that it's also, it's vegetable tan leather. Oh, great. Too. That's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. And what's vegetable tanning like, or how is that done? Well, tanning is the process that stops the hide from decomposing. Okay. So you need some sort of tanning agent. Usually it's done with chrome, some sort of aldehyde, some chemical. Right. But um, for a lot of leathers, you can use vegetable tannins, which just come from plants and vegetables. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's yeah. very eco-friendly, too, exactly. which is great. You're not using any weird materials yeah. or creating extra waste. We try to make, I mean, as, to the extent that we can, we right. try. It's not possible no. in everything. Yeah. Like jacket leather, for example, has to be so thin that you can't use a vegetable tannin. Right. You have to use a chemical tannin to strengthen the leather, leather so it doesn't tear. Right. Mm -hmm. But, but it, no, I think it's great that you do have a commitment to green ideas and incorporating that in your business where it fits and not forcing it but just yeah. seeing what you can do with it and, exactly. and how it can complement your business which is really very smart and I'm sure a lot more designers are going to be doing that in the near future. <laughs> I hope they do. They yeah. should. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. I hope you had fun. Yeah. I certainly yeah. learned a lot yeah. about leather that I didn't know about <laughs> vegetable tannins and all kinds of interesting things. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for for tuning in and we will see you next time. Bye.